And yo, what is a good, my friends? It is your boy, Jason JV, saying uh, welcome to another thrilling episode, hopefully, of uh, Welcome, or Welcome, uh, Method to the Madness. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe my uh, beanie is on too tight. Do you like? Mm. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, so welcome to another episode of Method to the Madness. This time we'll be breaking down uh, a track that I did uh which is called This House and uh basically what this song is about is basically me just adding my voice uh of reason to this whole debate about uh white folks being the guests in the house of hip hop. Um some of you are probably thinking, well you said in a past video you're a Hispanic male. Yeah, I am. Um and the reason I felt like I needed to um add my voice to this um little debate is because uh what if it doesn't stop with whites? What if it's uh, what if it's anybody and everybody who is not black when it comes to uh, being a part of the rap and hip hop uh, culture? So uh, let's go ahead. Uh, let's get this track started, and I'll basically explain uh, why I'm saying what I'm saying in, in this track. Pretty much exactly what I did for uh, "Ain't Dragging Me Down." You know what's funny? Last time I checked, rap and hip hop was never supposed to be about color. Facts. This is an open artistic platform that's for everyone. And if anybody's got a problem with that, fuck you. So, uh, basically what I'm saying here in the intro, I mean, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, this comes from my respect for the foundation of rap and hip hop. You know, going all the way back to the, uh, I guess you, you could say technically mid to late 80s. You know what I mean? When, uh... Rap and hip hop was, you know, barely be, barely becoming a thing when uh, when it was born. Basically, uh, you know, they the founding fathers of rap and hip hop had even said back then, you know, your Grandmaster Flashes of the world, um, your Sugar Hill Gangs, uh, they all said, you know, that, um, you know, when when uh, establishing this new genre of music at the time, that this was something else for everybody. This was to unite all of us. Um, Lord Jamar has said in an interview that because rap and hip-hop was founded by black artists that therefore they're the rightful owners of the house of rap and hip-hop which I totally completely disagree with it's a stupid thing to say too it's a race baiting tactic he's using you know what I mean that could start a race war um, and he basically said that and he basically compared the, the uh, genre to the English language it's like the English language which was established in you know England or whatever so because we speak their language does that mean that that we have a say in how they run their country and all and all that so check this out because going by his logic uh the genre of rap and hip-hop music since it was established here in the united states wouldn't that mean that it belongs to everyone that lives in the united states regardless of their skin tone <laughs> And therefore, shouldn't that mean that, since it was established here in the United States, that anyone, regardless of their skin tone and their background, shouldn't we all have a say as to what happens in the house of hip-hop and that the, the, that the direction that it should go towards? Yeah, so there you go. I just defeated your argument with your logic. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's get into more of the song and I'll explain more where these lines come from. This house, it ain't just yours anymore, so shut your mouth, silly whore, silly whore. This house, it ain't just yours anymore, so shut your mouth, silly whore, silly whore. This house, it ain't just yours anymore, so shut your mouth, silly whore, silly whore. This house, it ain't just yours anymore, so shut your mouth, silly whore, silly whore. All right, before we get into the verse, so this hook, um, this hook was originally going to be something different. Um, I was originally going to say, this house ain't yours anymore, so shut your mouth. I mean, pretty much it was going to be the same. It's just the only difference was going to be the intro. This house ain't yours anymore was the original line that I was going to use. But then I thought about it, and I thought, nah, I don't want to make it sound like it's a hostile takeover kind of thing. You know what I mean? So, uh, <clears throat> so then I readjust, and I came up with, 
this house ain't just yours anymore, meaning that it's not just uh, a house that belongs to the black community. It also belongs to everybody and, and, and anybody who loves rap and hip hop music, meaning there's always there's always room in the house of rap and hip hop music for anybody and everybody that wants to be a part of it. You know what I mean? Basically, uh, keeping with the philosophy that, again, the founding uh, members of the uh, rap and hip hop uh, culture, you know, had established, you know what I'm saying? Um, just trying to keep that tradition alive, you know what I mean? Because, you know, it's all about unity, you know, Queen Latifah, U-N-I-T-Y, unity. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this first verse. Where is that this rap thing? What a black thing a racist is as a racist does. Come on now, cuz you knew what it was. It don't matter the color of your flesh. What really matters is coming correct. With bars hella fresh, I'm straight out the west. Motherfuck the rest. Fuck Nick Cannon and Lord Jamar. Some punk motherfuckers that went too far. Do not that you knew anyone could be a star. I don't give a shit who you are. It's all about the culture and y'all the vultures. There's not enough space. No enough place for your motherfucking face. It's so full of hate. Make no mistakes. Jaws can break, so you better make haste before I slap the taste. This place ain't your house, so shut your mouth. Fetch my slippers, I'll cut your ass down like a set of clippers. Go ahead, call me Jack the Ripper. I'm ripping them bitches, a new asshole. I'm playing them bitches like tic tac toe. I'm going in hard like a get back bro. It's time for me to claim that dough, like I'm the pimp daddy and bathe them hoes. So basically, what this first verse is all about, as you can tell, it's me taking shots at Lord Jamar and Nick Cannon, who have this idea in their heads that. White folks are guests in the house of hip hop and everything, which is again another stupid philosophy <laughs> that can easily be defeated. Because if we're going by their logic, when it in let, let's just say for the sake of argument, all right, fine. White rappers are the guests in the house of hip hop. Then what they're saying is, and I don't think they realize this, which goes to show how smart these motherfuckers are. Um, if if the black rappers are the host, if you are own the house of hip hop, then that would make them the host. And if white rappers are the guest, then that means they need to be catered to because they're your guest. So. Again. Just defeated, you know, another argument with their logic. You know what I mean? It makes no damn sense. So that's why I feel like, you know, the house of hip hop it belongs to everybody because it gives it gives us all a sense of responsibility as to what we do with our part of the house of hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is responsible for maintaining the house and, you know keeping the uh, ship afloat, if you will, and keep the genre going, you know what I mean, and help it evolve, too, as it's, you know, as we're trying to keep it afloat, you know what I mean? So, yeah, there you go. All agree that this is black music, and that technically, in their mind, even though they don't want to truly admit it, but they know white people are guests in the house of hip-hop, and they all said that. This yeah, just because they said that doesn't mean that it's true. Because, and here's another thing too, going back to the early days of rap and hip hop, back during its infancy, we've had white rappers back then helping to build this thing up. You have uh, MC Surge from Third Base. You have Vanilla Ice. You have uh, uh, Snow, Informa. You know, you've had um, who else? I know, I know there's there's some other guys out there. Beastie Boys. So, white rappers go all the way back to the early days of rap and hip-hop. So, again, it's a stupid philosophy to have. It's a stupid point to make. You know what I mean? Because it makes no sense. And also, also on the underground scene, uh, especially here in California, we've had Latino rappers. Latina rappers. You know what I mean? On the underground scene, you have Lighter Shade of Brown. You've had, um, who else? Cypress Hill. You know what I'm saying? So, again, this whole idea that because rap and hip-hop was established by black artists, therefore, it only it, it's black music, it belongs to black people, that's wrong because they didn't do it alone. They, they have other people who don't look like them help them in the process. You know what I mean? Again, unity. That's what I'm trying to promote here. 
I'm trying to keep that unity tradition going. And I think that's the philosophy that we all need to help keep going. For those of us who truly love rap and hip-hop music. You and I, T.Y. This house, it ain't just yours anymore. So shut your mouth, silly whore, silly whore. This house, it ain't just yours anymore. So shut your mouth, silly whore, silly whore. This house, it ain't just yours anymore. So shut your mouth. Silly whore, silly whore, this house ain't just yours anymore, so shut your mouth. Silly whore, silly whore, I'm breaking that door down, what you gonna do now? Throw my ass out, fuck it, try me, clown, you finna catch a beat down, make your shots count. Yo, you don't want no beef, and yo, you can't make me leave. I'ma sit back and kick up my feet, like a motherfucking mafia don. Yo, you best believe, bitch, that had a tongue, like a motherfucking donkey Kong. You can suck on my foot long, no, you can bear it, like your name is Jared. I can see you gritting your teeth Yo, what's the matter, homie? Is it too much motherfucking heat? The devil's got you by the pink They don't wanna throw that shade 45 on you But you probably find yourself, my dudes Yeah, I'm rude, yeah, I'm crude But that's what you get when you run your mouth And try to stay clamp on a motherfucking house Nothing but it comes down on a fucking blouse So salt's all out on your motherfucking mouth Cause nothing real good ever makes its way out And that is never in doubt And so before we get into this next interview clip That I'm about to play um, basically what this verse was about was like, you know what I mean, just just shut up, you know, quit while you're ahead, you know, you kind of already made yourself look like an idiot, so I can't stop you there, but you can stop yourself from looking even more like an idiot by promoting this whole philosophy about non-blacks being guests in the house of hip-hop, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, a, it's a stupid thing to promote because, again, it's an easily defeated argument that we can easily defeat you with, with your logic, and you know what I mean? It's it's dumb, you know what I mean. And basically, this was me saying like, and if you got a problem with me being in the in the house of hip hop, try to throw me out. Try to throw me out. Guaranteed, you won't you won't get it done. You know what I mean? Because ain't nobody gonna support you on that. You know what I mean? If anything, the house of hip hop should not have room for haters. You know what I mean? And for idiots. You know what I mean? That that are just that that are, that are trying to race bait. There should be no room for race baiters and haters in the house of hip hop. If that's what you're all about, you can get the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? And um, so, yeah, pretty much that's it. And again, first of all, and let's get down to it. I mean, we, I, I, I definitely don't like the race bait. And Think about it, punk motherfucker. You've been disrespecting our queens for years. Matter of fact, won't you tell them how you really feel, Marshall? So as you can hear there, um, I, I kind of mesh together um, a little uh, interview sample, a little interview clip that from Nick Cannon's uh, Vlad TV interview. Um, the Lord Jamar interview clip was from a Vlad TV segment as well. See the common denominator there? Vlad TV. Yeah, little instigating bitch. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, I don't care. I don't, I don't plan on ever appearing on Vlad TV, um, no matter how big I get. I, don't, I just don't care. I'd rather be on Shade 45, you know what I mean? Because um, the people in Shade 45 seem like they're real cool people. I'm a huge fan of uh, Sway. But anyway, um, so yeah, the beginning portion of, of that of that audio right there, that piece of audio was uh, a clip from Nick Cannon's interview uh, from Vlad TV where he said that he doesn't like to race bait. And then the rest of it was the intro uh, for his third diss track, Invitation Cancelled, where he did the exact opposite thing that he said he... He doesn't like to do. He race baited by accusing Eminem of being a racist, saying how um, Eminem disrespected uh, his black queens. Um, I believe he's dating a white woman. So, and he also made a song called Gigolo, where he did the exact same thing he accused Eminem of. So. <laughs> You know, the, 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 the idiocracy that comes out of these guys, man. The idiocy that comes out of these guys. It's unbelievable. So uh, this was basically me um, exposing the hypocrisy that that is in uh, Nick Cannon. So there you go. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll get this last hook out of the way, and we'll wrap up this video. This house, it ain't just yours anymore. So shut your mouth, silly whore, silly whore.
right, guys. So that was This House um, by yours truly, Jason JV. Um, it is here on my YouTube channel. So I'll be sure to uh, leave it for the end card. So if you guys want to check it out, uh, you want to listen to it uninterrupted, you're more than welcome to do so. Um, if you're digging what I'm doing here with uh, the Method to the Madness series, uh, would really appreciate. Actually, before we get into all that, let me give my share my final thoughts on this situation. Uh, yeah, I'm all for peace and unity in the house of rap and hip hop. I believe that you know, as I late mentioned in my uh, Up Church uh, Skill Shot reaction, which is also uh, available here on my channel. I'll also uh, have that video shown on the end screen as well. Um, my, anyway, my final thoughts on this whole situation, guys. It doesn't matter what your skin color is. It doesn't matter what your political views are, what your religious views are, you know what I'm saying, what walk of life you come from. It doesn't matter if you love rap, you love hip-hop, you want to be a part of the culture in one way or the other. Um, hey, like it matters for me, but hey, more you're more than welcome to do so. You know what I mean? If you really want it, you can have it. You can be a star regardless of who you are. You know what I mean? And don't let no one tell you otherwise. Don't let no one tell you that. You can't be uh, a rapper, uh, uh, a hip-hop head, just because of your, your skin tone. Those people are the true racists, okay? Calling a white person racist is racist, remember that. And you don't have to be white to be racist, all right? Anybody can be a racist, and Lord Jamar and Nick Cannon have proven that they are racist, okay? A racist is as a racist does, as I mentioned in my song, remember that, all right? Now, with all that being said, guys, really hope that you're digging what I'm doing here on my Method to the Madness uh, video series here where I break down uh, all my songs and um, let you in on the meaning behind my songs. If you're digging what I'm doing with the series, uh, y'all know the drill by now. Be sure to uh, hit that thumbs up, thumbs down, depending on your mood. Uh, feel free to leave uh, feedback down below in the comment section, you know what I mean? I'm more than willing to uh, have a conversation with you guys. And um, if you're new to the channel, Welcome, thank you for your view, and hopefully you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Um, that support would mean so much to me. And uh, yeah, with all that being said, guys, uh, it is your boy, Jason JV, saying y'all take care, and I will catch you guys later in the next one. Peace!